Mr Speaker, the Chief Economist of the Bank of England describes the last decade as a lost decade for wages. And... Well, the Prime Minister might laugh at this. It's the reality of people's lives. It's the reality... Order! 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 I appeal to members making too much noise to stop doing so. And I order! And I say very gently to the junior minister on the back bench, who is making far too much noise, but he's ordinarily a good-natured and genial chap. I'm referring to the honourable gentleman, the member for Hexham. You can do, Mr Opperman, you can do order! You can do so much better. Try to be a well-behaved citizen today. Well, possibly like some others, but, <laughs> but there are quite a lot of badly behaved people. Try to set a better example, Mr Opperman. You're a Minister of the Crown. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Two years ago, a United Nations committee found this government's policies towards disabled people represented a grave and systematic violation of their rights. Does the Prime Minister think that situation has improved in the past two years? Prime Minister. First of all, in answer to the latter uh, point that he's made, is this government that has a key commitment in relation to getting disabled, helping disabled people get into the workplace. There are too many disabled people who have felt that they have not been able to do what they want to do of actually getting into the workplace, earning an income for themselves and their families. And it's this government that is helping. And the former Secretary of State for Work and Pe Pensions, uh, uh, through the... the uh, arrangements that she put in place to ensure the disability confident arrangements that she put in place are doing exactly that. But he started off his, he started off his comments by talking, referencing the last decade. Yes, the last decade have meant that difficult decisions have had to be taken. But why did those difficult decisions have to be taken? They were taken, they were taken because of the Labour Party's mismanagement of the economy. Remember, remember the letter from the Right Honourable Member for Birmingham Hodge Hill. Under Labour, there is no money left. <laughs> <laughs>